One, two, three. So the FA Skills program uh, is was aimed at five to eleven year olds. Uh, get them involved in football, um, get their basic abilities uh, up to speed, and uh, hopefully make them fall in love with the game of football. We're gonna win this game, yeah. 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 No, let's do one two, yeah. Well, we've been running the FA Skills program for over ten years, and that's got eight million players having experience of football, starting at five, going on through eleven. What the Lidl programme does is it just takes it on another level. So the sponsorship that we get allows us to continue this programme, take it to more schools and get the new generation coming through. There's a baby boom right now in Great Britain. So taking advantage of that baby boom and getting young people to really have a ex positive experience of football and play it all their life. It was oh, eight, nine years ago when we uh, looked at how can we develop the game and for me, you know, any skill that I had when I was a youngster uh, in my generation was put in place in my primary school years, which is five to 11. And so I always felt that, um, you know, we'd gone away from that. A lot of schools didn't have dedicated P staff, particularly in that younger age group. And if they didn't get that quality introduction, and by the time they left primary school at 11, didn't have a good skill base, they weren't going to be able to play the game of football like we wanted them to play going forward, because it is very much a technical game nowadays. I think these friendlies against Germany and Holland, I think, should be used to give uh, some experience to players who haven't had many caps or, or no caps at all in Danny Drinkwater's case. Still plenty of games uh, before the tournament starts for Roy to, to try and pick what he thinks is going to be his starting eleven in the tournament. Uh, so I think this far away, I think it's a perfect opportunity to, to give a chance to some lesser experienced players. If you're all here, it's easy for them to defend. I feel grassroots football is uh, incredibly important to the national game, um, and mainly because I think the, the broader the depth of the, the people you've got playing it, the more quality you'll eventually get to the, to the top of the pyramid. And so I think if you can engage children at this age, uh, I think you'll, you'll have them for the rest of life and, and get them to fall in love with football for the rest of their life. That might not just be as a, as a player, that'll be for a fan that can go on to you know, forever and a day, and uh, that's why we love the game of football.